Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. So, uh, in the previous episode we found this goblin city and we, we, or we now have, um, not a quest, but a goal to destroy five outposts. We destroyed the first one, but it was a really bad f a fight for us. We are now in horrible condition, so we have to head uh, back. Uh, we will need food because most of our food is about to spoil. Then we need what two, four, six. Six of our people need to recover from injuries. Some others need to fix their gear and heal up because some of them are missing quite a few hit points, I think. Think yeah. For example, here my north. We are not in the best shape, but also our our morale is pretty low. So we still kind of need to fight so that our people don't just start leaving because they get bored. Uh, so I was thinking, uh, I don't want to go to Grunwald. I'd like to head for Glansfest and Schattenburg. We should get better prices there. Um, although on the other hand, if we get like thousand extra gold, is it worth the? extra time you're gonna spend traveling might be actually better to go to the closest city sell everything there whatever price we get and then head back immediately uh yeah, actually that's what we're gonna do we will go for just Grunwald. they should have a kennel here yeah they do we i think need like three dogs or another option would be heading north to wolfsburg but that's also pretty far now nah, we want to go to the closest city uh we'll see how much food we can get here though then we may have to go to long holds if we don't get enough also tools and supplies uh, we may have to visit some more well we'll see about that uh first I want to check this um, gob or goblin or uh, camp again. Last time there was like a group of orcs sitting right next to it, refusing to move. So hopefully they moved away now. And I was thinking maybe we could try to attack. I know we are not in the best shape, but uh, well, it depends uh, on the garrison. It's possible that uh, they'll be just mostly orc young. And in that case, we should be able to handle it. What the heck is going on here? Many warriors. Hmm. Well, Roderick somehow recovered. Light defense initiative. This is a horrible idea. Now we don't have the damage against uh, so many warriors. But if we could just attack one of these random groups, what is it? Wolf Rider is. More wolf riders. Yeah, let's take out this group. This should actually be quite easy. And we need to fight to get some morale boost. I hope that at least some of them will attack head on. There we go. Bad start. Wait. I 
think disarming them would be a waste of time. I'll just switch to something. Uh, stronger. Take out this one. Also, four, so good, I have to say. So I think the first attack that we missed. Wait. Dash him. Come on. Oh, there we go. That was pretty nice. Just one panicked already. Try to finish up this one. I know it's a bit greedy, but I think we can afford it here. Come on guys, focus, it's still not over. I think they'll just give up. really care how many of them run away this was mostly to really boost our morale but come on it's still not over there now it's over So what did we get? No level ops, and well, let's take ammo, tools and supplies, the food, uh, the swords, that those are actually worth something, and how many spirits can we take? Let's take as many as possible. This one is worth a little bit more. Okay, how much food do we have? Still 300. Let's try to catch these guys. Oh, okay, I'll just explore here. There's most likely nothing, but I just hate when I have these random patches of Fog of War. Oh, you can still catch them, I think. There we go. Oh, my God. 
come on, can you just run forward? That's better. Desperately need unique weapons. You know, if that's like intentional design, but it seems that the normal weapons have like exactly the amount of damage that's not enough for one shots. I've noticed that uh, so many times that we needed just a tiny little bit more damage. You can always finish off something. Like, this was one of the examples Okay, good, they're not trying to flank us. This one again, just not enough. Kamemutsu should probably... never mind. I would say he should probably go after the ambushers. But again, I was clicking faster than I was thinking. How many are there still? There's this guy... I think I'll just try to run. Yeah, and I'll let them go. At least you get the level up for Roderick. And I again forgot to rename him. Uh, can we take everything? Nope. Well, there has to be some garbage that we can throw away. Let's see the quivers. Two, three, four. We can take all the swords. Uh, this is not worth that much. Okay. So how is our morale? Still pretty low. The plus three initiative is not that high and plus four resolve is the maximum morale, so I think I'll take 
resolve once more. I think 36 now is enough for uh, an archer. So now we'll just uh, focus on initiative. As for the perks, uh, overwhelm. Which way do we want to go? Probably want to go this way. And then when we go back, we'll go north. Maybe through the mountains. We'll check if we can find some unholds. Uh, what the hell happened? You go out for a piss and find yourself midstream when the din of combat erupts behind you. Pinching it off, you fix your drawers and head back for the encampment. There you find the whole company engaged in battle, not with any particular foe, but with itself. Salsas are clambering over equipment and the campfire and each other to swing fists and spread elbows and wrestle one another around and tackle each other. Uh, or tackle each other to the ground. Anyone who falls gets their ass kicked, literally, until someone else comes along to distract ones doing the kicking. Then the one who had fallen jumps to their feet and throws themselves back into the fray. The old frax, uh, fracas eases, I don't know what fracas is, eases uh, as the men slowly realize you are there and they shape up and line, uh, and line up as though a swift reorganization would be a suitable resolution for their uh, churlish behavior. Shaking your head, uh, you ask what sparked it, the men shrug. Uh, not the one can remember. You do a roll call uh, to make sure nobody's dead. You then tell them all to shake hands, keeping an eye on them as they do so. No bad blood to sniff out. Seems like this was just a bit of fun tussle and, and wrestle. Uh, that's all. Well, okay. I mean, we needed the morale boost, so sure, why not? And light wounds shouldn't really be much of an issue. Well, light wounds. Seriously, guys? Light wounds? Well, I we should be able to heal this in like half a day. Um... Oh, hey. Warriors, Berserkers, Orkian. I guess we will attack. Promise our inventor is while well. I hate leaving stuff behind. But again. Every fight means a morale boost, so I guess we will do it. That should be fine. It's not like a super easy fight in our current shape. So we'll still have to be careful, especially if the orc um, uh, get to us like all at the same time and stun the front line. It could be a problem. Let's make it a bit more interesting for them. Um, and I think I'll move Viking forward. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, hey, the healing armor. Well, nice one. I would call that a pretty unfair advantage in the brawl. Kill him. 64. There we go. That's one kill. There 
Let's go on 49. Let's go for 49. And it was a headshot. Good. Try to finish off this one, but it's probably better just wait for them to come closer. Wait. Seriously. Again, just a tiny little bit more. I'll uh, try and disarm the Berserker, good. Wait. the chance 73 93 Let's go this one I really like this axe against uh, like heavily armored targets. Against uh, just targets with uh, a lot of hit points, it kind of sucks. But against armor, it's pretty damn good. Wait, wait. So, how many kills can we get before they can do anything? Oh yeah, maybe some of them will panic if I got enough kills. Finish it off. Really? What the hell was that? Disarm this one. Wait. Uh, focus here. Okay, great. So it's what? Three more? Let's move. <laughs> Great hit. <laughs> Can we hit something? Nope.
finally. Uh, so it was actually super easy. We got the level up for Viking. Nice one. As for the loot. Well, I'll definitely take the meat. 24 tools and supplies. I was hoping that we'll be able to avoid most of the damage and get some tools and supplies. These camps often have quite a lot, so that was worth it. Uh, and what about the rest? These axes are definitely worth something. Uh, let's throw away the food that's about to spoil. Oh, swords are also worth something, and we can take this one. I guess that's all. And uh, before I had actually, how far are we from Schattenberg? Not that far. Maybe I will go there after all. Oh, that's just zombies, right? And that's gonna be more zombies. So I think I'll just uh, go and kill some zombies now. Because killing zombies is not the most entertaining thing to do. I'll do this off camera. Uh, just in case this is something else other than zombies, I'll, I'll come back, but uh, I don't think it's even possible. It's like the lowest tier location that you can find, so I don't think there is even a chance for something better than just the most basic mobs. So I'll be back when I'm done with both these locations. Okay, so I killed the zombies and I thought that uh, I would just... Um, go to the city because i didn't expect anything interesting to be along the way but i actually found the goblin camp it's not the like most difficult fight but i mean it's goblin so there's always the danger that they hit someone with the dagger or that the uh ambushers get lucky and uh focus all the attacks on one person so we'll do this fight on camera and then uh we all head to schattenberg and do some trading but let's quickly Take out the uh, the goblins. Of course, I didn't get anything interesting from the zombies, and not even a, a single level up of really anything. So uh, it was just uh, to improve everyone's morale from two easy victories. How many are there? Eleven. Mm, but we can't see their weapons they're starting with, so I'm a bit nervous. I'm not sure that I want to. Like, attack them. <sighs> Holy moly, that was a one shot with a dagger. Nice. Let's be careful. I really don't want anyone getting stabbed. This is a horrible idea. Fifty-four. Let's well try to kill. There we go. Wait. I should have used the other null and still forgetting about that. That was great. Again, just when I hit and turn, I realized that I could have used the adrenaline. Uh, holy crap, the dagger is strong against these guys. 
I thought that we just got lucky with the first attack, but the second attack was again one shot. And now they're giving up. Um. I mean, I could try to just catch them and unleash dogs, but I don't think it's really worth it. That was also decent. I can catch this one. This is a horrible idea. I hope this one panics. Nope. I know that I should let them run. I don't even know, like, it's not that I can be greedy here because I can't really carry any more items so why the hell am i doing this just risking that someone gets hurt why can't i hit this one oh. okay got lucky there and here as well Can I reach him? But why would I disarm him now? He's gonna switch the bow anyway. I'm actually quite impressed that he didn't panic yet. Someone with the dog. Maybe one more dog will do the trick. There we go, now he panicked. And again, no levels. Uh, is there anything that will be worth taking? Should probably at least try to take those swords. We should have some more quivers, I think, that we can leave behind. How much are the daggers? 350. Okay. 
Now let's look at the food. We have enough food for four days. That's still decent. I feel that uh, we may not even have enough to return back. And we can try again check for contracts. Okay, if we get a good contract for the Noble War, I'd still do it. Uh, <clears throat> How much are you guys paying? 158? Yeah, good enough. Oh, I forgot about the armor that we got last time. Oh, I remember this time. Uh, this is actually plus 40 uh, armor attachment. It looks horrible though. Let's just get rid of it because I don't like the looks. I'm not selling something I wanted to keep. I don't know why the game decided to reorganize everything like this. Much money to be at 17 and a half. Oh, not bad. Okay, almost 19, actually wait, 19,000. Now, let's sell all of this. Yeah, I really don't like the looks. Let's get rid of it. So where do we start? All of the food. They have quite a lot of food. It's quite expensive, but uh, I mean, we don't mu have much of a choice. Uh, I like, what is it, five stacks of pretty cheap tools and supplies. So that's exactly what we needed. Two, three, four, five. And two stacks of ammo. Excellent. And just out of curiosity, do you guys have anything? Fancy. Nope. How many dogs do we need? One, two, three, four, holy moly. Five. Can we even buy enough? One, two, three, four. Okay, and the contract. Travel to the lands of House Forsa. Is it the same thing as last time? House Forsa. Come on. Yeah, I'm not doing that one. What are we missing? Some more tools and supplies. How is our gear? Actually, our gear is perfectly fine. I thought we still needed at least like 30 tools and supplies to fix everything. I like seeing this. So we need two more stacks. Food. We have enough for nine days. Maybe a little bit more food. And we can go again. It actually didn't take that long, long to recover from everything. Because you're able to find some fights on the way back. Easy fights on the way back. Even our morale is not like super bad and uh, our guys also uh, recovered now so off camera I'll uh, make some changes 
we need to move people to the front line to improve their morale, of course. So, anything interesting here? I wouldn't be able to buy anything, but I'm still curious. There, two stacks of tools and supplies. Um, what type of food are we missing? We don't have mead, let's buy mead. We don't have dry fruit, so let's buy that as well. And this is still a bit too expensive. I wonder if there is a, like a tiny chance there will be a damaged unique item on the marketplace. I guess not, but I've never seen it. I'm not always checking what's all the way down in the list, so who knows. Uh, recruits. I still need one more good recruit, so I probably should check this guy. And tavern. Nothing interesting. Are you good? Nope. Huge. What is this clumsy? Dude, you are bad. Okay, I hope that this um, goblin camp that we destroyed here counts towards the uh, the goblin city. I know that I was told I shouldn't do it, but um, well, when someone tells me, dude, don't even try, that just means I have to get there as soon as possible. Uh, just because I'm curious, I probably will have to reload when I try to attack. I've never done it before, so I really have no idea what to expect. I just know that it's gonna be, well, no, I guess it's gonna be like a huge army of goblins, but I just want to try. So we'll be heading back in this direction. This time we'll just try to take a bit different route. Maybe you can go through the center, but we we'll like to find some maybe brigand camps on the way. We'll probably attack these um, uh, orcs now. Again, we have to attack uh, these large camps every time we find them because that's, I think, our best chance to get some nice unique items. Um, and yeah, there should be some goblin camps up here. So we need th 30 or 4 more, really, don't know if this small one counts. But well, for today we are done, so I hope that you like this episode, I hope that you're gonna join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.